welcome back to Leeds. We've got £100,000 to spend on a first home for university sweethearts, Anne and Tom. But we're not the only ones on the hunt, and our hundred grand does not seem to be going very far. Yesterday, they saw a spacious semi, but they didn't like the area. A flat in the right area, but without the space they need. Open one of them, and if you get two people in here, you're just going to be banging into each other. And a two-bed house with great potential, but too much work for Anne. To make our hundred grand go the extra mile, we're going to look a little further afield. With fast links to the city centre and good local schools, Cookridge is becoming a popular choice. In the quiet cul-de-sac of Haven Rise, we found a three-bedroom semi that will set our couple back £98,950. Again, this is another house which needs a bit of TLC. Mm -hmm. But, first, first reactions? Yeah, I like it. The stairs grab me straight away. Right. Not as crazy as the other house. No. It has got a very open feel to it because mm. it's not boxed in. It makes it feel bigger. This is a very nice kitchen. That's what's, uh, what was missing for you, wasn't it? Yeah, open kitchen, dining area. Chop, 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 talk to people. So the kitchen has plenty of room for Anne's dinner parties. Upstairs, there's room for guests to stay. A double bedroom, another double currently being used as a study, and a nursery. Have you got any plans along the baby line, Tom? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Chances. Has Anne? <laughs> no. Wow. Tom, you should see this garden. I'd say that's the best garden we've seen, isn't it? I think so, definitely. Yeah, it's and got the patio the and, the, and the garage as well, the yeah, garage, yeah, which is... I like it. Mm. It'd be great if Anne and Tom could afford to redo this whole kitchen, but that may well not be the case. It's very easy. What you do is you replace the doors, you replace the front of the drawers, and you put on a new cabinet top. 15 to £50 pounds per door and a new cabinet top, 70 quid. The whole thing, 400 quid, and it would make a real difference. They're a great couple, and I don't want to admit to feet now, but I don't think we're going to find them anything. Oh, Phil, you're a cynic. Have a look at this kitchen for a sec. Look, if you I'm had I'm not it... worried about the kitchen. No, I'm, I'm worried about saying... them. There's stuff the kitchen. The kitchen can be worked. At this, this rate, we are not going right to find one. them a house. No, 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 this house is fine. This house I don't fine. think that they are ready yeah. to make the decision. Mm -hmm. Anne is not into doing work. Tom's braver, but Anne is not. She's not that. Well, it's worth one last try. Will they trade location for a bit of renovation? Anne and Tom thought they couldn't afford to buy in Chapel Allerton, a popular, trendy area right beside their beloved Headingley. But we've managed to find a property that's bang on budget with loads of space, if they're prepared to take on the work. This three-bedroom family home in Chapel Allerton is on at 99,950. It's a really good sized hall, this. It's pretty impressive altogether kitchen is a little bit small. Yeah, it is, but look at this. You have a second reception room. And you know what I'm going to say? Knock down the wall. She can't oh. resist it. She loves that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have thought of yeah. that. You see, you've got a front room. This would be your sun-filled kitchen diner. You could even have a sofa and a telly in here. Sort of what they call a family room, and that's your more formal room for receiving your guests. More and more we are being asked to find houses with less rooms but bigger rooms. So I think if you did spend the money taking the ball out, I think you'd see it back at the end of the day. There's no doubt you could add a great deal of value to this house. Outside there's a substantial garden and upstairs there are three decent bedrooms. When we walked in it had kind of a, I don't know, grand feeling to it. There's a you know, big hall and then you walk in the rooms, a high ceiling. and So I think we like that. Um, lots of room upstairs as well. But the trade-off for all the space and grandeur? The house is a little frayed around the edges. The other thing, there was a big patch of mould up in that corner. But if you were interested, we'd have to let your surveyor know there's a problem up there and we'd need to know what it is. Mm, right. What do you think Tom will be thinking? Um, I think he'll most probably think similar. Nice house, perfect location. Yeah. But it might just be a little bit too much. Tom, earlier on in the day we were saying that we thought Anne was scared of DIY in a house which she had to do work to. I think there's so much she likes about the area. Um, when we drove her, she, you know, her eyes lit up and she thought this is, this is the area she's been after. And the potential for the rest of the house means that she might just, just have a go at that, that wall there. Yeah. So. That's brilliant. 
As day two closes, it's time for some serious thinking. I really like this house. I think that this area is so much better than... I mean, that is a perfect house. I think it's a really good house, the, the newer one. But I'm, I'm a bit concerned about the area. We know that this is up and coming, prices are, are rising. <laughs> so you think we should? I don't know. I don't know. I think this is what we have to go and think about. I'm shocked. Is Anne overcoming her fear of DIY? That's Those are the best properties that are on the market at the moment in all of Leeds. So it's really up to you. Do you remember yesterday we said go away and think about it? We want you to do the same tonight. You've been really brave, so responsive to all the new concepts and ideas. Give us a ring in the morning and tell us how we can help you further. Excellent. Yeah, we need a bit of time and we'll, we'll get there. And... Okay. So what would £100,000 buy them elsewhere in the country? This fisherman's cottage in Whitstable, just 300 yards from the sea. This one-bed flat in Sydenham on the outskirts of London. Or half a converted cinema in Nottingley, Yorkshire. But we're in Leeds and Tom and Anne are on the phone. OK, well, that's brilliant. We'll see you there then. Bye. They've decided on a short list of two, the last two properties they've seen. So it's the walk-in ease of Haven Rise versus the location of Chapel Allerton. Second visits are about getting tough on your favourites. Is Haven Rise as perfect as they remember? I know, Anne, that the garden was something you were really keen on. You liked it yesterday. Is it still doing it for you today? I like it today too. Very nice. I like the lawn, I like the patio. I think it looked beautiful in the summer. It doesn't need much doing to it, so it's yeah. ideal, really. So the garden's sorted. What about inside? I definitely think you should get rid of this and make this a bigger dining space. At the moment, you could only sit four, six at a pinch. Yeah. A nice round table and maybe even a window seat in that window would be really, really nice. And this would make this room the hub of your house. Now, Tom, these are actually very, very steep. When Kirsty and I came before, we asked the vendors whether this had caused a problem and they admitted to us they'd never taken their car down here. So they've never put the car in the garage. Mm, I think it seems like a hell of a waste. So, could you live with this bathroom? It's a bit wee, isn't it? Mm, I couldn't live with it for time. It's not urgent, but I would like to change it, I think. What, new white suite? White suite, white tiles, laminate floor. God, I like mm. a girl who knows her mind. <laughs> this is looking positive. I like this house. I think we could move in and we wouldn't have to do much to it. And that, what we had to do, wouldn't be overly expensive. It's just the easy option, isn't it? It's mm. just so convenient. So, back to Chapel Allerton to see how much work really needs doing. It's actually a really nice, quiet little area, all, all on its own. Got some big family houses up the top. Yeah, they're I quite do. Striking, I like aren't they? the area a lot. I love these trees. It would be so nice in the summer. I mean, if you have a yeah. look at all the trees, it'd be really leafy. Yeah, look lovely. I'm not too sure about the cladding or the lead windows. OK, well, I think the cladding's been put on since the house was built. It's possible to take it off, but I think the worry is you do too much damage to the brickwork, so you could paint it, change colour with it, mm. otherwise you're, you're stuck with it. Getting rid of the leading, I think, probably is much easier because you just have the glass changed in the windows. Beyond the rear garden, there was a potential problem with the footpath. We've, we've got to recognise that as a security yeah. risk. Somebody can hop over this, so... You, you just need to be aware of that. When you look at it from this angle, you can see where the wall between the kitchen and the second sitting room is. And just imagine if that was your kitchen window. It'd be fantastic. Be lovely. But are your feelings towards it more positive or negative the second time round? I think now I've seen it in the light, I like it even more. Last time we spotted damp on the interior walls. A shower of rain gives us a chance to look for the cause outside. You see how the uh, curve of the wall angles into the window on the top there? Rain like this will drip into the wall, down onto the window ledge and seep back through the window, and I think that's what we'll find happening up there. Right. In order to solve it, there does need to be a ledge put across the top of the window, stop the rain dripping down. So it's a filthy, rainy, windy day. And you say you like this house more than you did yesterday. If you can like this house on a day like today, you can like it any day of the year. Yeah, we, we do. Definitely. Yeah. We like it a lot. You like it a lot more than the first one we went to see today? Yes. We just feel we're getting a lot more 
for a money. So mm. it's a lot bigger house, but mm. it does bring with it the maintenance and the decoration issues that the other house doesn't. The other house you could move straight into. I think it's worth it, though. It's a lot of work, and we we know that. And you've pointed out the various bits. So you like this house? Do you want to buy it? Yes, definitely. We do. That definitely, is great yeah. news. Excellent news. That's really good. Big decision. It's on the market at £99,950. What Phil and I are inclined to do is go for a best and final offer, say is a good offer, they're first-time buyers, they're chain-free, they're ready to move, they've got their mortgage organised, take it or leave it, mate. Mm -hmm. And we'll see where that gets us. Over to you, Kirsty. Make that call. OK, bye okay, then. Thanks, then. He's got a couple of viewings tomorrow and they were looking more for, you know, perhaps the, the 98, 99s mm. because it was on at 107. They've only just dropped the price and they obviously dropped the price to get something nearer 99, 950. So just don't think about it the weekend. Uh, <laughs> easy for you to no, say. No, no, no. Go to the cinema a lot, you know, do things uh -huh. and just don't think about it. <laughs> And you can let go of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> We're going to have to leave you now, I'm afraid. It's been great fun here in Leeds and looking after you. And I'm sure that you'll get it.